Have you ever looked at a set of XTs, MTs, or even AT tires and thought to yourself, yep, that's a tire. Not really sure what the differences between them are. If you don't feel that way, then I dare you to walk down a makeup aisle on a Target because you're, you know, really trying to close that Tinder date deal, right? You'll be in awe and you still may end up, you know, sad and alone at the end of the night, but hey, at least you've got a cool truck now, right? Take the fleeting joy. I'm Dustin, dusty.co if you know you're into that sort of thing like the old Instagram, and we're gonna be diving into the top five tires that you should be looking at if you're about to buy wheels here in 2022. Navigating truck building these days is tough because half the shit's out of stock and you know, we bought the other half. It's just the way it is. If you're looking to build your truck, pick up a set of wheels and tires or a lift kit, check us out at customoffsets.com. In 2022, inventory and steady supply is the name of the game, right? Everyone loves a good cheap tire that's always available, but you know, the anti-dump laws from 2021 and the ever increasing constraints at the ports with container costs are literally squeezing some of the cheapest tire companies completely out of the game. What we're left with are the good tires, of course, when they can be made, or, you know, the new ones on the block that found the cheat codes to keep good inventory. It's like the flying cars cheat code, you know, it's, it's just so good. Let's get started today with a solid tire in that number five spot. The only tire that we don't have in front of us today, the BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2. Now making the list for some classic value props that many show people like us maybe sometimes, you know, overlook, is why the KO2 deserves to be on this list in the first place. Now the original TA KO tire was built to establish an extremely long wear time with durability built around multi-use and multi-weather scenarios. It did both exceptionally well though, so when the KO2 was introduced as the fourth generation of the company's all-terrain tire, it had to do everything just a little bit better. You'll find that the KO2 delivered 10% more traction than its predecessor in mud, and nearly 20% more traction in the snow, thanks to the siping and the channel design of the tread blocks. It's a busy tire and, you know, it doesn't really have a lot of show truckness to the tread design, but the reason the tire is quiet is because of its tread block coverage with minimal gaps and voids. More blocks plus twin steel belts plus polyester cord sidewall just equals the college love seat of tires, right? Everyone's had one, they're always dependable, and they just plain work. On the complete opposite side of the conservatives, sometimes you just want a little one night fling, right? Instead of, you know, the family dinner date, the Predator New Mutant XRT. Now, the Predator sits in a different space altogether than the KO2, however, it's still a solid option. The Predator XRT is an aggressively designed tire that is specifically focused on providing a solution to the growing inventory gap that we started to learn about in 2020. Focused on alternative sizes, aggressive tread, and some exciting performance that many weren't ready for. You know, most people assume that with a new tire just comes performance gaps or just quality overall, but the Predator New Mutant surprised, well, pretty much everyone, including us here. Aggressive designed shoulder blocks that don't howl like a horror movie, smooth ass ride as an RT, and surprisingly, they aren't loud enough for some people. I'm not kidding. Reviews on the good old website have people saying that they loved them, but someone thought that they were too quiet. They actually thought a tire was too quiet. Maybe that's your cup of tea, but a quiet, strong performing RT that sounds like a typical road tire is quite literally the bee's knees. Number three on the list is the Radar Renegade RT, another hybrid style tire that is, again, newer to the game, right? Same as the Predator RT in terms of expectations, they just do damn well as an affordable option that can do bigger show sizes for, you know, the show trucks out there. We did run a speed test at 40 miles an hour in a Ford and peaked right about 60 decibels in the old street noise category from a base of about 40 to 45 decibels, not too shabby. Once you hit the highway on 37s, we were seeing about 70 decibels, which is a little more noise, but you know, again, would be more so expected on the larger tires, regardless of the brand. For those that are buying on looks as well, the Radar Renegade RT has a dual sidewall with flames or a dagger, right? I mean, I'm not such a big fan of all these crazy designs like that, but hey, you do you, you know, if that's what you're into, then all the more power to you, bud. 
One thing we especially like about the Radar Renegade RT is the balanced wear that these tires give you for the price. And when you're looking at the sizes these come in, even wear is not something that always happens with more accessible tires. For those that value this information, the Radar Renegade RT Plus tires are one of the few models with Radar being one of the only brands that use carbon neutral manufacturing. They care. It's kind of cool, actually. They've been carbon neutral for a number of years, and it's just... It's kind of neat. I dig it. Now we're down to the top two. And when it comes to availability, stock, and a return to popularity story, this one has got to go to the Venom Power Terra Hunter XT. Now Venom Power blew up in 2021 and had a similar come up story to fill the gap of when other tire manufacturers were having inventory issues. Venom has stayed on top of that map and is likely going to be one of the few brands here in 2022 with consistent availability and quick stock when you're buying wheels. Plain and simple. Now this tire did have a rough start about midway into 2021, right? With some out of round issues that left some bad tastes in people's mouths. I mean, it makes sense after all, but Venom came back bigger and better than ever as we exit 2021 and jump into 2022 with new molds, new Q&A, and even more inventory. That's good because the Terra Hunter XT is a solid choice for hybrid performance, and it's one of the few tires left in the industry that is staying steady for people like you and me to pick up and use if you're looking to build a show truck. Now, if that's not enough, and maybe you know, you're looking for a little old school value proposition push, some of the sizes come with a 50,000 mile tread life warranty. I haven't even owned anything in my life for 50,000 miles. You guys are telling me that I can get a 50,000 mile tire? And now the number one tire, the best thing that we've got for you, that even with its somewhat inconsistent inventory still continues to dominate our top seller. And we still promote it no matter what, because it just has the crown overall, the Nitto Ridge Grappler. Now, if you've got the money and you've got the right set of fingers as you're packaging your wheels and tires from customoffsets.com, the Nitto Ridge Grappler is still one of the best to pick up from us. But what makes the Nitto Ridge Grappler special is something that not a lot of people actually know. It's the fact that it's a truly functional hybrid for real road use. I'm trying to put this nicely, right? But hybrids for off-road use, 95% of the time only actually see road use, right? The problem is that road use is towing along with it and incremental weather and snow sh and highway noise, right? The Ridge Grappler is best in its class for towing performance. It's got a wicked good tread life even when it's abused. It's functional without being boring. The, the Ridge Grappler can hold 80 PSI for those of you that want to bring a toy hauler around town or a, you know, a gooseneck trailer like I do. That's a big deal. If the KO2 is the tire for the conservative dad or for the recent Subaru seller, then the Ridge Grappler is for the Sitka connoisseur. What's important to remember is that even though you may be debating on the Ridge Grappler for its all-around performance, the Venom Power Terra Hunter RT for its value and its revamped quality expectation, the Radar Renegade RT for its size offering and balanced wear, the New Mutant XRT for its impressive out-of-the-box performance at a very strong price point, or the iconic and legendary granddaddy of all granddaddy tires, the BF Goodrich K02 for its conservative design in favor of Supreme all around weather performance and warranty. These right here are going to be the top five picks that you're gonna have the most consistent inventory of, the best support from the vendors, and of course, are some of the best options for you as a truck enthusiast here in 2022. If you're looking at wheels though, and you haven't thought about adding tires, just do it. Here's why, it'll save you time, it'll save you money, and it shows up to your door shipped for free as long as it's from customoffsets.com. Sound off and let us know what you'd like us to talk about next down in the comments below. I'm Dustin from Custom Offsets. With that, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.